Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can enter text into the text box. Command name is enter text. Moving to my step definition file and here I want to enter transaction amount. So I'm coming here and we are writing enter text command. Here we need to pass two arguments. One is element locator and other is text which you want to enter. So first is element locator and the second is text. In text I want to enter 1000. What is element locator? So we already have understanding of element locators. So I want to enter text in this amount. Here we can see we have some ID. So I just copy that and the class is this. So I'm using class and ID. So class is this. I just move to my step definition and class space that is my ID. So I'm using ID colon and the value. Values must always be in single quotes. So everything is done. I'm just adding one more sleep so you can see what is entered in the text box. I'm running this test case again and again I'll show you everything on my screen. So Droid is the software which we are using to show my device here on the screen. So as of now you can see my home page is open, my device is open, transaction is taking place. So my application started, now click on add transaction button. So it will click on the add transaction button. As of now waiting for the 10 seconds, now add transaction button is clicked. And now again wait for the 10 seconds because we have written sleep over there. Once the 10 seconds will be over, it will enter text. So once the 10 seconds are over, it enter amount over there. So now we have written two steps, two steps are passed, one step is still pending. So we have seen how we can enter text. As of now, I'm just completing this test case. So in then I'm just putting some message like I'm not verifying anything as of now. We will see verify steps later on. So puts amount entered successfully. As of now, I'm just printing some message. So that's message I want to print. Now I have three steps and all the steps has been written perfectly. I'm just running my test case again. And here you will see all the steps will be executed and ultimately my test case will pass. So it is start executing. And now first of all my main screen is open. It will wait for 10 seconds then click on this add transaction button. Once the new screen is open again it will wait for 10 seconds which we have given then it will end amount and at the end just printing because last step is to just print something on the console. So now all the steps has been passed and the scenario is also passed. So we have created a very simple test case type and click on a button. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.